At first, you're, you're, you're terrified. You know, something with the spine. Every time you hear anything about the spine, you know, it's, it's something where you think the worst. Somebody operating the spine is a major, major thing. And I was, I mean, terrified, terrified. I was so scared, like, I was crying and I was thinking about all the negatives. But uh, it's probably like the best decision I've ever made. Asti was about four years old when her pediatrician did a routine check on her and realized that she was her, her spine was curving a little bit. She had like a, I think it was like a 25 degree curve for a four year old, which was kind of extreme at that point. So he recommended that I go to Miami Children's Hospital and visit Dr. Schaffelbarger. At first, the concern was I knew nothing about it. I really didn't know what that meant. I never heard of it before. Um, so first time. When she was first diagnosed about with the scoliosis and I really got to understand what scoliosis was and I saw the x-ray, I was, you know, beside myself. I really was. It was scary because you could see my body actually deforming, like my hip would pop out on one side and my shoulder would go up on the other side and it was, it was getting worse and worse and it eventually got to the point where I had to wear a brace to school. So it was hard and then knowing, like, that it's not getting better, it's really scary. It got to the point where Dr. Schaffelberger says, look, the, the, the curvature is getting too wide, the degree is, is almost at 60 degrees, and we at one point we're gonna have to operate. We were always against surgery, we're not gonna operate, we're not gonna operate, you know, until the point we reached. It scares you, and, and but the first thing you gotta focus on is trying to find the best help for your daughter, and that's the first thing that came into my mind. What is the thing we're gonna do to make this better, and, and how are we gonna find somebody that can actually help her and who's gonna be the best at it. Scoliosis is usually diagnosed by uh, suspicion of the pediatrician or primary care person in an x-ray being made showing the curve. Treatment choices for the idiopathic or genetic scoliosis are really only three and that's one is observation or watching it, the second would be brace treatment and the third would be a surgical procedure. Once Dr. Schilferbarger from Miami Children's Hospital advised me that, you know, I, she was going to need surgery and that he would recommend it within the next six months or a year. We said, well, we really want to research this, something so important, we want to make sure we're doing the right thing at the right time for her. We decided to go all over the place and get different, you know, opinions and visit different doctors to see what kind of education and background these doctors that specialize in that field had. We went to New York, we went to Texas, we went to California. We went to several doctors here in Miami. It was scary to have to go out there to find a doctor that could give you the right surgery. All roads lead back to Dr. Schuffelbarger. He has the best that there can be. And, and people would actually say, oh, he's one of the best that you're seeing right now. Why are you coming over here? The general name is a, is a posterior spinal fusion with instrumentation. And this is an extreme example with instrumentation placed all the way from the base of the skull to the large bone or the pelvis at the bottom. In reality, uh, this extension, extensive an instrumentation wouldn't be done and only as a small portion of the spine would be instrumented. I think Miami Children's is, is considered not only in the United States but around the world as one of the leading centers for spine care for children. The Child Life Department, I have a spinal fusion orientation program where the patients and families are invited to come in they get to take a tour of the unit they will be staying. They get to meet some of the nurses prior to being admitted. They get to see the OR. They get to see the recovery room. Basically, we go over every step from the moment they arrive to the time they go home, what they're gonna see, what they're gonna hear, what they're gonna feel, and how to cope with getting through this surgery.
The surgery took about four hours, and uh, Miami Children's Hospital was fantastic. From the, from the doctor to his nurses, to the nurses that took care of her after the procedure was done. I, I mean, I was so impressed, and I, I, I could, I, my gratitude to them is endless. The, the treatment was great there, the therapy, everything to, you know, from, from the start of that surgery to the end was perfect. I have like amazing posture right now, I'm never, I'm never arched, and I'm actually captain of the cheerleading team, starter in basketball, um, I, I play even better if anything. I don't think there's probably any better facility or better place to be treated or, or doctor to treat you uh, in the world. I did major research. I flew, you know, to different states to be sure that I was doing the right decision. And I ended up back in Miami Children's Hospital with Dr. Schofelbarger. I would recommend Dr. Schofelbarger blindly and Miami Children's Hospital to anybody.